Welcome to Bleak District Electric and the Anti-Static, probably your new favourite pedal. The Anti-Static has two main features. Firstly, it's a Velcro-y CMOS fuzz. Let's hear it in action. Secondly, anti-static houses a micro looper which runs between 50 milliseconds and 3.5 seconds and can be engaged either with a momentary foot switch or latching toggle. What does this mean? Let me explain. Let's start with this big dial in the middle of the pedal, what I like to think of the heart of the anti-static. This sets the clock speed. Next to this we have the range switch. If this is an upward position, the clock speed becomes really fast and short all the way to the left and slightly slower and longer to the right. If we move the range switch down and move the clock speed all the way back to the left, it's slower and longer again from when we had the range switch upwards. Moving the dial now all the way to the right gives us our slowest and longest clock times. The latch switch, which I like to think of as the brains of anti-static determines which type of playback we have. In an upwards position, the latch switch starts a loop based upon what you've just been playing. The length of the loop depends on how fast and short or slow and long you've set the range and the central dial. Let me give you a demonstration. With the central dial moved all the way to the left and the range switch set up, we will latch or loop onto only a short piece of sound. With the dial moved all the way to the right and the range switched down, we're going to get a longer loop time. If we move the latch switch down, we can now utilise the loop button. This is only a momentary switch, meaning it lasts for as long as you hold it down for. And when you're in the loop mode, you can use the central dial to impact the speed at which it moves. Again, faster to the left and slower to the right. Or you can choose to hold this down momentarily, release it and hold it down again to let in new bits of sound and loop. At this point, the anti-static is almost acting like a sequencer. A great practical use of using the latch switch down is stuttered broken guitar parts. And finally, the anti-static has a super small footprint with true bypass, top-mounted jacks, and powered with a standard 9-volt power supply. <laughs>